Okay, uh, I'm Dria Jaguiar. I'm media manager here in Fora do Vesh. In uh, Fora do Vesh is um, <laughs> it's quite hard <laughs> to explain because I can say it's a network because we work in uh, at least a hundred cities here in Brazil, and we uh, we develop a lot of uh, different work, different types of service. It, but it's mostly uh, it's everything about culture. So we we make the events. We talk about communication, we talk about fa fair trades, uh, everything with the eye of the culture here. here. So uh, my job, my job is to make this understandable to other people here in Brazil and other countries, of course. So uh, what we say that we do is that we translate what we are doing to other, other, other society and other people, because people tend to call us. Uh, an alternative perspective, <laughs> like we are an alternative people, because we do uh, take the collective life to the extreme. We do, we do Let, let's, let's just kind of interrogate that, because what, what do you mean collective life? Uh, what, what is that? It's a life, for example, let me just uh, tell about my life. I'm 22 years old, and I have no graduation. In fact, I did, I don't know, three months in, in college. And I gave up because it's just not my thing. And so I have 20, 20 years. I don't live in my city anymore. Uh, I'm from Cuiabá. It's a very small city in, in the Midwest. And, and I'm here. In, um, I live in Sao Paulo now with 22 people in the same house. I share my bedroom with another four girls. And I share everything See, uh, from my wardrobe. So I have like dresses, everything that I have, uh, every woman in the house can use. And I, I share everything in the house that I have to do, cleaning, cooking, everything we do it together. Uh, I share my work, my hours, everything that I do, it's about my, the job. And that's what I do. It, it's, I, people say I work 24-7. I say I live 24-7. <laughs> My work is my uh, life, so it's not, it's not like an alcoholic type of thing, <laughs> it's, it's just my life, you know. Uh, I'm here talking to you right now, then I'm going to take lunch with other people that I know, and then I'm going to back to my work, and then I, it's, that's just the way it is. So tell me tell me what your work is, because you're sitting in there yeah. with a laptop, you've yeah. got your MacBook Pro I do that a lot. Yeah, a, so what are you making, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm a social media, especially, uh, I'm a media manager, so everything uh, that's happening here that I have has to pass for some communication, some sort of communication. I know about it since photo, videos, everything, uh, and media on the internet. So I'm 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 your girl <laughs> to talk about it. And uh, specifically, I I do social media. So Facebook, Twitter, all the accounts is on my on me. And so I do. That's that's exactly what I do here. And in this event, my my job is to tell people in. in the internet, what is happening here? So we have a lot of things to show. Since the uh, the, the people itself that are here, and I need to show them to other people to see. So we are live streaming the event, and we have to tell to talk about the videos. We are making a mini doc, a documentary about it. So everything we do uh, is happening here. We have to show in some type of media. So that's my job. I'm trying to Why? explain. Because <laughs> so that's a lot of reasons. One, because people have to know what's happening here. Two for uh, register. We have to have the uh, documentary, all the elements. So what you're doing here, it's real. It's happening. It's. I guess it's one of the base of why we communicate. Because people, we have to talk to people about what we are doing. And and my job is my job is to uh, make this um, more. I don't know how to say in English, tangible, it's more touchable. I'm trying to make people see it, what's happening here, even if they are not here. That's, in fact, my, my job is an extension job. I make this event bigger, We're not, uh, going uh, to people that normally wouldn't have it. So that's that's what I do. I try to take what's happening here, what you're seeing here with your eyes, to people that don't, need, not even in Brazil. So that's it. Okay. So what would you say? to somebody who was new to the idea what Fora do Asia is? Open your mind. <laughs> this is 
it's very uh, it's a very uh, deep experience but you have to d d just go for it and be real you know if you don't if you're not okay with something say it we are talking about it that's that's something that's very interesting about our net we are not closed this is not done this is going to get different and it's new and we are doing this together so if you're not comfortable with something tell talk, talk to us maybe we can change it and all, all, all of us can be comfortable. Everything we want is that people feel like they're okay. We are not uh, making something harder or it's not tired. It's, it's just us. It's how we would live. That's how we would like to live. What's the important thing for Ford Oasio? Is it music? Is it culture? Is it communication? It's, I guess culture it's a, a very open I think, theme. But uh, we do work a lot of music and, and movies in cinema. Uh, so we have this two, uh, I don't know if how can I say it, but we say, here we say that uh, artistic languages. We have these two big artistic things that we do, that music and uh, movies, cinema. But that's not uh, everything we do. Uh, in fact, we have uh, another four very important things in our network. It's One, it's communication, uh, we are talking about. Uh, there's a lot of people here wanting to talk about what we are doing, so we are making sure that these people understand what you are doing, even for Hedges itself. Uh, to its economics, we are trying to change, to make a different uh, proposition about how we deal with money, with time, with happiness, which we try to make uh, uh, effective economics. So that's why we are having another proposition about what you're doing with our lifetime. And there's education. It's a big thing for, for us because we have to uh, understand what what are we doing and how we keep doing it and how can we teach people to do what we do. It, we are very worried about this because uh, we have to make sure that what we are doing is going to make a register, that people we can read about it, can understand it, we can teach to other people and learn. So for that we, have, we are very uh, worried about the education, just like we are worried about economics and uh, just like we are worried about communication. That's the fourth, is politics. We are very, very worried about how collecti collective human beings change it, uh, make changes for itself. It's not politics like the Governor. No, it's it's like uh, between us. How do we relate? It's human relationships. We have to. When you put, uh, think about my house. 22 people, young. 22 people. If you don't have, if you don't understand how politics works between these, these people, it's gonna end in an hour. We we're gonna kill each other because it's very. It's a space that we are ch uh, sharing between us. So we have to talk about rules. Have to talk about being happy. How make other people happy? How we can can uh, talk to, between us without fighting about it. So, besides music and <laughs> cinema and all the culture itself, we are talking about education, politics, communication and economy. Is it a young person's game? I mean, what happens in 10 years' time when you're all a bit older? Do you move on? Does, uh, does something else happen? When we get older, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> no. I think uh, when, when it's not a young, young thing. Uh, but we, you can talk to people in our network that's like 15 years uh, or um, 40 years. It's, that's not a young thing. What we, what is happening is that we are a young network. We have six years, so you see people that even when we started, they were young. So uh, you will see a lot of young faces. I am one of the youngest ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 21, I'm 22, I have a friend that's 21, that's, but that's just because I think that's um, a way to show that the world is ready to be collective again. That we are, if young people uh, who has so much uh, impact from the media, if they are wanting to be in collectives, not having their own things, their own jobs, their own money, their own family, if they are, they are going to this type of experience, I guess that's, that's a sign that we are ready for the collective. And I think that's, um, it's a word, uh, it's a word desire. I think uh, that even uh, some countries that has the individualism so strong, but I think that's our way to say that young people are pro-collectives. Everyone is pro-collectives. Just have to talk about it and understand how it's better to anyone. That's it.